Bible. your God? One Bible. By the way, what is the name of your God? What's the name of your God? Jehovah. Is it in the New Testament? It's in the Old Testament. But is it in the New Testament? It's not in the Bible. So you're saying, Bible so you're saying Bible. Jesus did not All even scripture. bless you with his name All of the name of God. God. You know what? My God gave me 99 names. Your God gave you zero names. Why is that? Jehovah is his name. Not in the Jehovah. New Testament. Old Testament. The Old Testament for the Jews. Bible. For the Jews or for you? Oh, Old Testament for you. Yes. Is it for you? Seriously. Yes. So you basically yes. do you circumcise? Huh? No. Why? No. I thought you said the it's for you. The new covenant. Ah, the new so it's not for you then. The new covenant. You see, that's the a double standard. They get caught out. Jehovah's name. They get caught out by that. Do you do you keep the Sabbath? It's not different God. Do you keep the Sabbath? It's not different God. Do you keep the Sabbath? No. It's exactly. Not God. So Old Testament not for you. It's one God. The one God. Of course there's one God. So don't say three. Throughout the Bible. So don't say three. Exactly my point. And New Testament. Thank you. That one God. Why do you say three then? So who is the name of the Father? So Why do you say three in one then? Jehovah. Show me the three in one in the Bible. Your Trinity. Where is the three in one? You don't have it. Admit it. Come on. Admit it. Are you going to run away as well like the other guy? When I brought up the Trinity, he ran away. He was very confident of himself. When, he, when I said, this one name, yes, which you're talking about, you don't even know that one name. Jehovah. Is that God. the Father? God. It's God. Okay. Jehovah's God. Is the name of Jesus Jehovah? God. He's talking about God. In That's right. Is the name of so Jesus? talking about? Can I ask you a question? What? Is the name of a Jesus? A dog? No. We're talking Why about are you thinking God. about cats and dogs now? Because you're not getting my point. Are you all up? You're not getting my point. Are you all up there or not? God is referred to. What is the name of Jesus? The name of God. Is it Yahweh? Yahweh, Jehovah, Jesus. So the name of Jesus is. As, as so you're saying Jehovah and Allah Jesus are the has, same? Allah has 99 names. Yes. yes. <laughs> are you jealous? So what's your point? <laughs> you didn't get any. So what's your point? <laughs> So if you say that, the point is this, my God, God blessed me so with 99 point? names. Well, Why did your God not give you even one? Jehovah. Not even one. So, and it's not in the New Testament. So your God can have a million names. It doesn't mean your God is the truth. No, now, no, 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 no. It shows, look, when Jehovah. Jesus says, go and baptize them in the name of God, and you don't even what know the name of God. What did, you, what did you do in Acts? They baptized in the name Did anyone Jesus. baptize him in that they name? Baptized in Jesus' name. Did anyone baptize him? Jesus' name covers all ah, the So you're telling, you know how many baptisms, so wait, do you know how many baptisms that they're in Acts? How many? Quite a few, quite a few, exactly. Was, did anyone in the entire Bible baptize anyone else in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? No, because you know why? Why? Because Jesus is the name. Jesus is the name, and he covers all three titles. You're proof from so basically, point. you're saying Jesus, they all Jesus rejected. All three. They all rejected the, the injunction of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus commands them to go and baptize them in Jesus the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He says, and none of them does it. In the name. None of them does it. In the name it. of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. What what name covers? Yeah, exactly. What name? Jesus name. So you're saying now not Yahweh. You're, you're going Jesus to Jesus name. now. That's you see what you've done now? Jesus Have you seen? Name. Until now you were going on Yahweh, 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 it's Yahweh. Person, when I questioned Jesus, the baptism, Yahweh, you went to where? It's Jesus. God. One God. They can't make up the mind. God has 99 names, so why can't, why can't my God have three? You don't have even one. Forget about nine, three. Yourself. Are you jealous you don't have even one? Doesn't matter. You By the way, your God can have a million. Is, is, your God is are you saying the Father is the same as Jesus? What are you talking about? It's the Trinity. The three are one, Jehovah. Okay, so who died on the cross? The, the Word, the Son, the Son. But I thought you, they were all the same. The flesh. I, the, I thought you said they're the all the same. became flesh. So they're not the same. Then. But the Father was still in heaven. Thank you. So they're not the same. And the Father is the Holy Spirit. So one is up there, one is so on the God cross, dead. Omnipresent. That's fine, that's fine. They, no, no, it's not omnipresent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Omnipresent. Are they mortal? The God, the flesh is, um, isn't immortal. Oh, I see. Is the flesh part of God? The flesh, it, the God came down in flesh. No, is the flesh part of God? Is the flesh part of the Trinity? The, fle he, the flesh, he came down in flesh. Is the flesh part of the Trinity? No, it's not, no. Thank you very much. No. So basically from the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, it is the flesh which died, which is not even part of the Trinity. So none of them died. But God took on human form. None of them died. You died. Did you realize died. what you just done? It's all in the body. That's Have died. you realized but what God you just done? Exist, you see. The fourth part, God still which exists. is not even part of the Trinity, God died. Still existed. <laughs> that wasn't my question. Well, that, you're that, telling that, me the fourth part, which is not part of the Trinity, died. But they won. So you're saying... But they won. You're, <laughs> But the one. What? You just said he's not part of the Trinity. So if one part of God dies, he's still. No, alive. no, no, no. The flesh is not part of God. You already said it. Yeah, but he left. He came down. The flesh. The word became flesh. So Regardless, is the flesh part of the Trinity? The word became flesh. Is the flesh part of the Trinity? Not a Trinity. No, not a Trinity. No. Any time. I think it's time. Okay. Was it part of the Trinity? What do you mean part of the Trinity? You understood my question. God Come is on. The Trinity. I didn't ask you that. Is the flesh God part of the Trinity? Trinity? God is. The Trinity. Okay. Do you know what the Trinity is? Yes. Good. Three and one. Do you know what a flesh is? Your Trinity. Hold on. Do you know what a flesh is? Do you know what flesh is? Yeah, I know what flesh is. Okay, you understand what is Trinity, you understand what is flesh. Is the flesh part of this Trinity which you understand? 
The flesh is a part of the Trinity. That's a, that's a good sign. You're thinking finally. You're finally thinking. Because you were all blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Without thinking, you were talking. Ah, the M word. I was just waiting for that. When was the M word going to come? Do you know who Allah is? Do you know who Allah is? I know who Allah is. Yes, I do. Because Allah says so. Allah says in the Quran, He's unlike anything else. Where is he? Oh, now another question. We're asking about Allah all of a sudden. You just, you just found Allah? What? Because you lost the Trinity and you found Allah now. No, the Trinity is the Trinity. Look, the flesh is it part of the Trinity for the fourth time? So the word took on human form. Flesh. flesh. And the flesh. Came down. flesh. The flesh is it part of the Trinity? It's the flesh God. No, because the question is too shallow. You see what I mean? It make you sense. know, earlier, earlier, you actually answered that question. Yeah. But the second time, yeah. when I actually showed him that folly, then he basically backtracked now. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not a yes or no answer. It is. You already answered earlier. You your time, no earlier, you already said no. According to your my friend, uh, my question was the same. Is the flesh part of the Trinity? Same question. And now you backtracked on the answer. According to your question. Okay, so sh I'm making so it. Okay. If I say no, I'm wrong. If I say yes, I'm wrong. So I don't have an answer. So basically, you got a cash 22. Do you realize that? Do you realize? You got a cash 22. Yeah. By the way, is God the author of confusion? No, he's not. So what you're reading is not the Bible then? From God? It's not confusion. Because you're confused. You said mystery. Yeah, but you don't know who God is. You don't even know if there are three or the flesh is God you, or not. You don't know who Allah is. I know who Allah is. No, yes, I do. No, Maybe I don't understand what everything do about Allah. Why are you talking about Have you seen but I, Hold on. What's your problem I, then? I'll tell you what. I know Allah oh. based on what He revealed you, to me. You can't treat yourself as that. No, I didn't. Guys on I know what Allah. You know who is. I know so what Allah revealed to me. God, okay, for example, is God? Our mind. Okay, hold on. Come, come, come. Does God? Does God? Does God know everything? So what are you actually saying, saying to me? Detail. I don't know the answer. Does God know everything? No. Do you know the answer? Does He know God everything? Is a mystery. Good. And Does, you don't know did God. God tell you that He knows everything? Know no. Do you at least know the bits about God that He told you. You know the attributes, right? Do you, okay, good. Go. So one of his attributes is omniscience. Do you agree? Yeah. What does omniscience mean? He's omnipresent. No, that's a different word. Do you know what omniscience means? What? It means all-knowing. Okay. Okay. So God is omnipresent and omniscient. Okay. Omniscient means all-knowing. Do you believe God is all-knowing? Is the Holy Spirit all-knowing? Yeah. Why did Jesus say that only the Father knows the hour? That's his flesh speaking. Regardless, he had human form and, and, okay. and spirit. did he know what he was talking about? The flesh doesn't know. Does Jesus know God? The flesh Fine. Know. Fine. The flesh okay. Know. Does Jesus know God better than you and me? He had human form and spirit. I'm not talking about Jesus. Does Jesus know? So the flesh I'm talking about the knowledge of Jesus. Does Jesus know God better than you and me? Of course, yeah. Good. Does Jesus know the Holy Spirit better, better than you and me? Of course, yeah. Good. Did Jesus say only the Father knows the hour? Yeah. Does that include the Holy Spirit? God's the Spirit. That was in the question. When Jesus says only the God Father the knows, hold on. When Jesus says only the Father knows, God is the Holy Spirit. By the way, he didn't say only the Spirit knows. He God says, is, God, Jesus said that God is the Spirit. What did Jesus say in so Mark 13 32? When he said only the Father knows the other. Exactly. About the the okay. Father and the Spirit. So when he says only the Father knows, did he mean only the Father and Spirit? It's the same. No, it's not. It's, it's, so why did he say only the Father? That's the way you can, you're getting okay. confused. Because you think the Father and the Spirit are all. If you're saying, people. wait, wait, if you're saying. It's the same assets. So was Jesus telling a lie then? It's the same. Was Jesus thing. telling a lie? Jehovah is the Spirit. Okay. And, and is, is the Son? Is, is the Son same as so the Father is in heaven, the Son is on earth, dying on the cross, and, and the Spirit, God's the Spirit. Okay, and they all are God, right? They're three are one. They, they all are one God. Three are one. Okay, so why is two thirds of the Trinity ignorant of the hour? It's the Son doesn't know, the Holy Spirit the doesn't know, know, only the Father knows. The human didn't know, no. So are you saying. He wait, wait. Are you he saying. Wait, are you saying Jesus, he left, when he was on earth, he, he was left, only a flesh? He left his full knowledge in heaven. So is he fully God? That, so he's limited in knowledge, he's limited in power. Oh, where is his limit? So, but he was still God in heaven. Why do you call him fully God then? If he's limited, he's, he's God in heaven. No, but why do you call him fully God? He's God in heaven. Is he fully God? That's the Trinity. Is he fully God? Is Jesus fully God? The Trinity form, yes. No, no, I'm asking Jesus. Do you know why? Because when Jesus rose from the dead, he says, All power has been returned. He said, All power on heaven and earth has been returned unto me. Yeah. Given to me. Give has been given to me. Yes. He gave it back. He left it there and he gave it back unto okay. me. Okay. Good, good, good. Very good. Stay there. So you're saying Jesus was given all authority and power on earth. Yes? Okay. Yet in John 5.30, what does he say? I can of myself do nothing. Exactly. 
That was his first speaking. How is that even? God was. Can you realize this? Look, look, listen. You said Jesus was given all God authority was, and power, God was and Christ. yet, of course, he was. Adam so was why God. was he helpless if he was in Christ? God was in Christ. Exactly. Why he was he helpless? Because God's omnipresent as well. No, no, that wasn't the question. That's the why does answer. Jesus say he's helpless? But that's the answer. No, that's the, that's that's, that's the, the answer. point you are not answering. No, why did Jesus say he's helpless? I answered the question. Is Jesus helpless? The flesh was helpless. Yes. Okay. When he was in flesh, he's full power hold on. in heaven. When you when you say when you say he's in flesh, it's as simple as that. Was Jesus zero percent God or one hundred percent God? He's full God in three three. Is what? Jesus zero percent God, hundred percent God during his ministry? The limb when he was when he's in his flesh. He didn't yeah. Know was he God at all? He was God in, yeah, God in Christ. Yeah. Okay, so he was fully God. He was God. God was in him. Was he fully God? He, God was in him. Was Jesus fully God? He wasn't fully in the flesh, no. He but, wasn't fully God. So the scripture says he left his glory Thank you very much. and he limited himself. So basically you're he saying no, no, that's himself. good, that's good. This is why so that's the good, flesh good. Didn't know Okay. Are. So you're saying but the Father himself, his glory knew the other. Okay, so Father knew. What part of that don't you understand? What about the Holy Spirit? Why you asked the What about the Holy Spirit? I, I told you the answer. The Bible says only the Father. The Bible says God God was in Christ, reconciling the whole world unto himself. Okay. What did Jesus say about the final hour or the last hour? When he was asked this question, did he did he say only God knows or did he say only the Father knows? Who is the Father? The Father is God, yeah? Yes, only one God. The point is this, is, the, is God only the Father? What? <laughs> look, look, the penny dropped. Because your question doesn't make any sense. It does, it, it does. What? Is God only the Father? What do you mean is God only the Father? Okay, you believe in the Trinity. God is just God, without oh. including Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. God, he's, he's three in one. Thank you. So this three in one, two third are There's ignorant, why? Because the body has limited knowledge. The yeah, Holy Spirit doesn't have body. But the full knowledge was Holy Spirit doesn't have body. It's no, it's not the same. It is. So what you're saying, look, your excuse for you're Jesus. God. Well, I'm not. You're so actually dividing it. Third. I'm saying they're one. You're no, dividing no, them into you three. Yeah. <laughs> you're the one dividing them into three. That's why you're in this confusion now. That's the reason. You know? In order to in, o in order to in order to build up one lie, you have to invent another one. I'm not. The yes. mind has limited knowledge. Exactly. So your mind tells you that the point is this: is Holy Spirit if God's all knowing? It was in me. It will destroy me. Excuse me. It's mystery, mystery, mystery. It will destroy me. God's full knowledge would 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 it destroy the Holy Spirit? Would kill me. Would it destroy the Holy Spirit? God's full knowledge would kill me. Because so much information. Yeah, you're not God. We know that already. Leave it there. No. Yes. Look, look. Thank God you're not God. Trust me. Thank God. You're not God. Now the question is this: Is God is God only the Father? There we are. Is your answer? No, that's not the answer. But is God answer. only the Father? What do you mean, is God only the Father? Which part of that you don't understand? I don't understand the question. The question is this: Do you do you know what God is? No, I don't. You don't. No, no, do you? So you're saying no that. So is. you're saying the Trinity is not no, God. You don't know who. So why do you saying the Trinity is God then, if you don't know who God is? Yeah, the Trinity is God. The Bible helps explain who. He the Bible doesn't say the but Trinity. Doesn't know, we don't know the full depth of who God is. No, 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 do you? The Bible says very clearly God is all knowing. Do you agree? He's all knowing. Okay. Yes. Is the Holy Spirit? I don't know him. I is the Holy Spirit all knowing? All knowing. I don't know all of him. I don't care about you. Is the Holy Spirit all knowing? But that's, but that's the question. No, I didn't ask about you. When did you ask about you? You asked me uh, every detail about Job. I don't know. <coughs> ask him yourself. I don't know every single. Was Jesus about. telling a lie when he said only the Father knew the hour? Was he telling a lie? He wasn't lying. Okay. Should I believe the Bible or should I believe you? He wasn't lying. Should I believe the Bible or you? Believe the Bible. Okay. The Bible says only the Father. Exactly. So that excludes. So who's the Father? That excludes whom? The name of the Father. Hold on. And of the Son. Don't go to the name. The Holy Ghost. When he says what only, you know the what he's doing? And the Son. Because the he knows Jesus he's changing the topic. So therefore, that's the Trinity. Don't worry. I'll heaven, come back to that. I'm well. very good at holding you on the topic. But the Son didn't, have, didn't, didn't know the Lord. Was Jesus so telling a lie? Only the Father knew. What do you understand? Was he telling the lie? No. Exactly. So why are you saying the Holy Spirit knows the hour? The Trinity. The name of the Father. So is Jesus the in the Trinity. The but Jesus doesn't know the hour. The Holy Spirit doesn't know the hour. Only the Father. Yes. yes. It's exactly. So two thirds is ignorant. God is you can put it that way, but that, that that's does, not me that putting it. That's what Jesus is saying. But that doesn't the Trinity. That's what it does. It does. Because look, no, it do you agree God is all knowing? Do you agree God is all knowing? Do you not believe God is all knowing? Yeah, go on. So do you want to know? Do you know what the question is before you explain to me? I know the thing. I know the Trinity. What is the question? No, no, it's not the Trinity. The question, the question you asked him. Wait, wait, let, let him say. The last question you asked him. What? If Jesus knows the hour. No. My, question, my question is, does the Holy Spirit know the hour? He knows. God is he knows? God is so Jesus was telling a lie when he says only the Father knows. Wait a minute, you had a chance. Let him answer.